Stupid things I did as a kid part two since you guys showed a lot of support on the last one Thank you for that by the way I figured I'd come through with the part two like I had about the worst track record a kid could have being like extremely dumb and oblivious You know, I was just the goat at that like I had a good, you know 12 to 15 brain cells operating on a normal day. It was a bit rough for me. I'm not gonna lie I think I mentioned this briefly in my last video, but I would just eat a lot of random shit like, I talked about the time I found a penny on the ground and I just ate it. And it reminded me of this one time when I was playing Truth or Dare with my friends outside. And one of my friends said, I dare you to go dig through the grass until you find worms and then eat a chunk of dirt and worms. And I was like, all right, bro, chill, chill, chill. I'll eat the dirt, all right? But I'm not eating the worms, man. That's where I draw the line. I'm still eating stuff that's just not edible. Like, it doesn't matter. Either way, I'm putting my stomach through hell. Like, it doesn't matter what I do in that scenario. So I grabbed this patch of dirt, and I was surrounded by, like, three of my friends and my brother. And they were like, eat it, eat it. They were cheering me on, bro. This was a crazy event. This was like that one kid in the cafeteria that would make the most random food concoction of all time. And I ate it. I did it. Or well, I ate a little bit of it, but oh. I spit out most of it. I still, to this day, do not understand how I swallowed dirt and I just let that slide. That is crazy. How did something just not click in my head? Like, hmm, maybe you're not headed in the right direction in life if you're eating dirt. I, I don't know, man. And it was totally worth it because I wanted guys i did it i was the champion of truth nah it was not worth it at all i still don't know what was cooking up in my mind and now to this day i'm a pretty competitive person still like i would do anything to win and of course that's why i'm messing with mech arena the sponsor of today's video mech arena is a really fun free-to-play online shooter that you can play on mobile or desktop one of the coolest features about the game is the tournaments they're like weekly competitions that let you compete against others and win reward you can access these tournaments without too much progress in the game and you'll be playing with players at your level. They're also the only way you can access the chaotic free-for-all mode where you're pitted against all the other players and it has no team. And the tournaments are one of the best resources to upgrade your mechs and weapons. And me personally, that's definitely my favorite feature of the game, that the mechs have so much customization. In honor of Plarium's anniversary, they released their new space-themed event, Solar Survivor. They recently released three new 5v5 maps in the legendary Scorpius mech. And of course, they plan on bringing new powerful weapons into the game like there's a new missile weapon coming soon called the disruptor and the chimera and they also celebrated 4th of july with the u.s community by bringing the liberty skin for the onyx and the star spangled skin for all mechs you can use like personal link or scan the qr code to get a bonus worth of 30 dollars in cosmetics you get one skin one prodigy crate and 5,000 credits to help kickstart your game and of course if you download the game you can also add me you know we can run up some matches so thank you to mech arena for sponsoring today's video. We also played Hide and Seek Inside because we really thought we were him for playing Hide and Seek Inside. It was crazy. I still don't understand to this day why we didn't just go outside to play Hide and Seek. Like, you have no space to run around. Like, what? Like, that just made no sense. I would hide in the dumbest spots possible. I would try to squeeze underneath my friend's parents' small bed. Like, that just was not ideal. Or either that, or I would, like, hide in the blankets and just suffocate for, like, 30 minutes straight. And of course, my young, innocent, pure mind did not realize what could have possibly went down there. And one time I even hid in the shower. The shower? Like, that's my homie's shower. Why was I hiding in there? My third grade mind just did not care. I simply just wanted to win hide and seek. In the worst spot of them all, one time I tried hiding in the washer machine. The washer machine! Like, what happens if my mom just walks in there, doesn't notice I'm there, and hits start? Like, it's wraps. Uh, it's over. And when my my friends found me they were like wow why why would you hide in there you are so but i won and i was happy i won and i just did not care about the dumb decision i just made hide and seek was crazy bro if i had to hide in a prickly bush i would do it i would suffer just to win bro you know those bragging rights were just a1 now another time when i went over my friend's house um now my friend he was my neighbor so i was there quite a lot and on this one particular day there was a kid there that was the grandchild of one of our neighbors and i've never seen the kid before this is my first time meeting him and of course we're inside playing our ds's because well that's just what we did after playing basketball or hide and seek or whatever we did and now this kid this kid did not bring any games then like who brings a ds with no game like what all right but anyways yeah this kid he asked one of us to give um him our games and of course 
I caved because I felt bad that he was just sitting there in silence. And at the time, of course, I was running up some Pokemon Heart Gold and I gave it to him. He's like, here you go, bro. You can have it for now. And now I don't understand why I trusted this kid. I literally just met him today. This was my favorite game, bro. I brought it everywhere. I beat Red. I caught every legendary in the game. Like I, I was actually a sweat. I was showing this off to my friends. I thought I was him at the. Now this kid was just walking around randomly in the game. Like he didn't even know how to play. Like I was always checking on him. I was like that one creepy teacher that's like, hi, no phones are allowed in class actually. And just starts aggressively tapping you on the shoulder. And now his parents came to pick him up and I didn't realize this. At this point, I don't know what I was doing. Like I was probably playing on my iPod or something. And this kid just left without me even noticing. And bro still had my game. So I just got finessed out of my Pokemon Heart Gold. Holy complete file. I was crying. I was having a full on mental breakdown. Okay, I wasn't that serious. This file meant a lot to me. So of course I was doing everything in my power to get it back. <laughs> he stole my game. All right, chill out. It's not the end of the world. You're not bleeding. You're not hurt. Is the world exploding? No, you're fine. I'll call the neighbor and see if he can bring it back to you next time he's at the house. And it took bro about like a month to give me the game back. And you know what? At least I got it back. I still have it to this day. Now, of course, I would play a lot of video games and I would go to my grandmother's house a lot. And sometimes my cousin would be there and he would have his Xbox and he would hook it up and play Call of Duty or something. And now on this very day, we were there for a family function. I go downstairs and I see him playing and obviously my eyes are glued. And of course I had to ask him if I could play, of course, like I had to be that kid. And he did let me play for a round, which was nice of him. And when he was playing, I noticed he had like headphones on and he told me not to put them on. And I was like, okay, why, why not? I was confused. Now the headphones were on the floor in front of me and I was able to listen to what was being said. It went something like this. Who the f is this, this guy sucks he's trash dude you're like almost prestige master what are you doing what are you aiming at you're worse than a goddamn stormtrooper buddy are they talking to me nah of course not they're talking about somebody else don't worry about them just keep playing the game now of course he was a call of duty veteran all right like he was a god at the game all right and it took a lot from him you know to to give me the controller because well your nine-year-old cousin's gonna screw up the kd and now we move to my middle school days and of course i was not bright either you know i was entering my edge phase I would yell memes down the hallway like it was bad looking back on those days for me man is kind of rough and now I don't know if a lot of you remember when I talked about getting scammed by a clash of clans gem scam right and I did not learn my lesson apparently I thought since an ad for free gems popped up on my YouTube homepage I thought it was legit a lot of scammers like to advertise on YouTube and I did not know this and I fill in all that information thinking I'm about to be the Scrooge McDuck of gems like I said last time and of course same thing happened again no results and then it finally clicks i'm like oh yeah it's probably a scam some of you in the comments are probably face palming right now like dude it took you two years to figure out that that was a scam really yes it did and i wonder why i was getting the most random emails in my inbox like i was getting emails written in arabic like i would understand that i'm the kid that just got scammed here there's no bulbs lit up there or not even like a little flicker of light. No, it's just completely dim. And forget it, man. If you put me in the kitchen, you are screwed. Like, I messed up everything that I would touch, man. I was a connoisseur of burning things, all right? When I'd whip up some toast in the morning, I would always burn it. And this one time, I forgot to put water in the easy craft mac and cheese like how did i i don't understand and i just let the microwave run and me and duck were just completely oblivious as to what was going on we literally just sat there and let it happen you know while the, the pot of mac and cheese is just casually on fire in the microwave after playing i don't even know what on my ipad i go over to the microwave and realize what just happened and of course i get in trouble when i get home birdie what the f yeah, that one was rough, man. I'm not gonna lie. And I got banned from using the microwave for a long time. I don't know how that's possible. How do you get banned from using the microwave? My parents were like, you're so stupid. You're not even allowed to use the microwave. That is a crazy insult. Now, I used to play football in seventh grade, right? And at practice, I would get a lot of bruises on my arms because, well, it's football practice. What do you expect? And when I had all these bruises, there was one that was like really big to the point where I couldn't hide it. And one of my teachers eventually picked up on it. And one day the classroom phone gets called and it's like, uh, Birdie, yeah, you got to go to the nurse's office. And I'm like, the 
nurse's office. What? Like, why am I going to the nurse's office of all places? Like, do they think I hit a lick on like the nurse supplies? Like, well, what's going on, bro? They sit me down and they started off with a nice smooth tone. They're like, all right, honey, is there anything you want to tell us? I'm like, what? what do you mean? Is there anything you want? I, I don't even know why I'm here, bro. And then she was like, what are those bruises on your arm? And I explained to her I play football and stuff. And she was not buying it, even though that was the truth. Like, I, I don't know what else to say in that moment in time. And she kept like pushing me. She thought I was going to like crack or something. She was like, is everything okay at home? And then I tell her everything's fine, of course. And then my parents get a phone call home asking about it, of course. And my mom was mad confused about it, but I just explained everything. Want another video to watch? Watch this video on screen. Anyways, I'm out.